Hello, and today I'd like to introduce you to a new series that we're going to be starting on the channel, and that is a series called Getting Started with Linux. In this series, much like we did in the Drupal series, I want to take you 1 to 10 on stuff you need to know to be a basic Linux user. Now, this could be for switchers or people who just want to um, learn more about Linux alike. Firstly, in the first video, what we're going to do is give you a basic rundown of what Linux is and some of the terminology you need to know. Uh, so, so, let's get started. You might be asking, what is Linux? Now, I've done videos on this before, but Linux is an open source free operating system. So you know how you have to pay for Microsoft Windows or indeed Mac OS X? Um, Linux um, is often open source and the basic can is open source. That means it's largely free because it's worked on and contributed to by the community. Not one solid kind of um, corporation. Now, there's different types of Linux. You can get embedded Linux or Linux that run on servers or equally Linux that you run in desktops like we're going to be talking about in this series. Now Linux that you run on desktop is just like your Windows on I'm guessing Mac OS X if you use that and it's just, it's just like either of those two operating systems but instead it's a completely new branch of an operating system not a completely new version but a completely new branch with a whole different ethos of everything's being free but of course then it's not as refined so that's what Linux is. The next thing we need to go over is what a distro is. Now a distro is an abbreviation for a distribution. Now um, like I said Linux is the brand branch or a type of oper operating system, but just like there would be within Windows or Mac, there's hun hun hundreds of different branches, types of operating systems that use the Linux kernel. Now, a kernel is a ba base, a, a fundamental base for an operating system. So, a choosing a distribution is choosing what branch of that particular um, type of operating system you're going to go with. So um, in the Windows or OS 10 world that might just be simply be version numbers but um, in the Linux world because it's built by the community that means dealing with several entirely different um, in, 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 entirely different systems, different different communities built for different things. Now let's equally talk about uh, um, what an environment means because within within the, the these subsets of the Linux community called distro communities like I was just talking about there's also um set phrase window manager so um whereas in windows your only window manager pretty much that's open to you is windows explorer you probably don't even notice it because it's just there but in um in unlike with on microsoft it's called the finder but with linux and having this kind of mod modulability you can have the same desk Distro using several different window managers, no or KDE, for example. Uh, um, but we're going to break that break that down into a, a, se a separate video. Um, so, so that was just a quick video, hopefully giving you an idea of um, hope. Hopefully what Linux is, what you can expect on in this series, 
I'm going to be showing you some hands on stuff but for the next two videos I'm just going to sit here and talk because there are some fundamental concepts that you need to understand before stepping into the Linux world so that's what we're going to go over anyway I hope you enjoyed this video be sure to tune in to the next one for more Linux, Linux coverage thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and subscribe subscribe if you liked it. I'll see you in the next video guys.